So I came across an older white couple on a trail recently. And when I was coming up from behind, I told them that I was approaching on the left. They thanked me. I told them to have a good day and they returned the compliment. And in my head, I was thinking that that they probably didn't expect that from me because I'm a young black man. And later on, I, I realized that I know nothing about these people and yet created an entire story in my mind. And I passed them in all of 10 seconds and made stereotypes about their beliefs towards a whole age group, a race, and a gender, all in one fell swoop. Was I wrong or right? I'll never know. But the fact remains that I judged them and I have biases just like everyone else. And we should offer others the benefit of the doubt because there are fellow humans and we understand that there are certain biases that our culture upholds and that's really just a rounding error no matter who you are because of this vulnerability we should be that more receptive to learn from each other with that a lesson that i learned was to not label people it's more useful to witness them as unfolding spirits every time we encounter them whether that's for better or worse because we can all learn from that and when it comes to other people it's always the case that they know something that you don't that's because they've lived a life that you haven't and because of that fact you can always learn something you can earn another perspective that you want to have access to otherwise. And because of inevitable ignorance is why listening is critical because you just don't know everything. And when you look at everything, what you do know in comparison is minuscule. So, Catching our own biases, catching our own judgments, catching the, the way that we label other people's short circuits that ability to take a step back, gain more perspective from listening and learning from them rather than prescribing your own thoughts and opinions on what they're thinking and what they believe. Thank you for listening. I hope you're well, and I hope you have a great week.